Today I'm going to talk about passive entry. This is something that an awful lot of modern cars have got. It allows you to walk up to the car with a set of keys and the car knows that you're coming. It opens the car. Quite often it will set your driver profile for you, move your seat, move your mirrors. Um, and when you get into the car you can usually just simply push a button or in the case of the Tesla put your foot on the brake and drive away. Uh, a lot of modern cars have got this feature. It's in the Tesla, um, it's in some budget cars like Ford Fiestas which um, is an option. It's also on nearly all the high-end makes like Lexus, Mercedes-Benz, BMW etc. In the Tesla there is a feature where you can switch passive entry off because passive entry can be a massive security risk. Um, the way that passive entry works, it allows somebody to amplify the signal from your key, potentially tucked away safely in a drawer in your house, uh, and a criminal can amplify the key signal to an accomplice that stood by the car. The car thinks the key is right beside the car and the car opens. The accomplice can then get into the car push the start button or put their foot on the brake and start the car so that the two criminals can then drive away. This can be done in a matter of seconds. Now in the Tesla you can switch passive entry off. So I'm just going to demonstrate the difference between passive entry on and passive entry off and I'm also going to show you some of the ways in which you can remove or reduce the threat if you like leaving passive entry set on so that somebody can't steal your car. So here we have the settings menu in the Tesla and in the middle of the screen we've got the two security settings which we're interested in which is passive entry and pin to drive. Now I've turned pin to drive off for this demonstration because it makes life a little bit easier. I did a video covering pin to drive last week. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. As you can see at the moment, the passive entry option is greyed out. Now the way in which you get the passive entry option to come up is you put your foot on the brake, the car switches on, and it allows you to set passive entry on or off. Now I'm going to leave it set on for the moment so I can show you what passive entry does for you um, with regards to coming up to your Tesla with the keys. Okay, as you can see my car is locked. I have the key here and I'm just going to walk up to the car without pushing any buttons and you can see that the car opens and I can open a door and I could get in. Okay, so now you've seen the car work with passive entry on, let's see how it works with passive entry switched off. So we go back into the settings menu and we simply click off on passive entry. I'm now going to get out of the car, lock it and see what happens when I walk up with the keys. So here my car is unlocked. I'm going to click the key to lock it. There we go. I'm going to walk away. It is definitely locked. And I'm going to walk up to it with my key without pressing anything. And as you can see, there is nothing on passive entry. The only way I can open the car is to double click and then I can open the car and I can drive away. So how about if you like passive entry on because you like the convenience of walking up to the car, but you'd like the car to be a bit more secure and a bit more difficult for somebody to steal using a relay attack? Well, there are things that you can do to help. You can put your keys into something called a Faraday bag um, which prevents the signal from the key escaping and prevents that signal being repeated to the car so that somebody can take your car. So let's have a look at a couple of options. The first option we're going to look at is called a Faraday bag. You can purchase these on places like Amazon or in car shops or even sometimes in supermarkets. The way that these bags work is that there is a lining in the bag which prevents the signal from the key escaping. It's very important that you use these bags correctly and that you make sure that they are working. As you can see inside the bag there are two compartments. One compartment is lined, I hope you can see that on the video, can you see the gold shiny lining? That is the lined compartment. 
that is the compartment that you must put your key in and make sure that your key is completely covered by the lining. The front compartment is a compartment that you can put things like credit cards or a bit of money in. That does not protect you from a relay attack. So let's switch passive entry back on and let's try the Faraday bag. As you can see, you do get the warning about pin to drive as soon as you switch passive entry on. For the moment, I'm going to leave pin to drive off just for pure simplicity. But what you should do is you should actually set a pin and use that before you drive anywhere. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how not to use the Faraday bag. As you can see, I've put my key in the front compartment, which is not the gold lined compartment. So let's see if the bag works when you use it incorrectly. So I've put my keys in my Faraday bag, but I've used it incorrectly. My keys are in the front compartment. They are not protected. So as I walk up to my car, you can see that the handles still pop out. It gives me access to the car. I can get in, I can drive away. If these keys were in your house, they could still be used to steal your car. Now let's use the bag correctly. As you can see, my keys are being put into the gold lined section of the bag. What I'm going to do is push them down inside there, go and lock the car again and show you what happens when I walk up. Okay, hopefully you can see my keys pushed right down inside the bag there. This is how you've got to do it in order for the Faraday bag to work properly. So the keys have to be pushed right down inside the bag and the bag then has to be sealed completely in order for it to work. So there we go, that is the bag sealed right over. I'm now going to leave the car, lock it and see what happens when I walk up. Okay, my car is locked, my keys are safely stowed inside the, the Faraday bag, the Faraday bag is used correctly, the keys are in the protected compartment. As I walk up to the car, there is absolutely no reaction from the car whatsoever, the car cannot see the keys. I can even click the keys inside this bag and there is absolutely no effect on the car. Those keys are completely protected. So in order to get access to the car, I have to open the pouch and I have to physically take the keys out, at which point the door handles open. So let's look at a second option that you've got to use for a Faraday pouch. Now this is an old Memorex tin that we had kicking about in our house. We've got two cars in our household and four sets of keys and both cars have passive entry on them. So we use a tin inside the house that's in a convenient position for us to put our keys into it every evening when we get home. Obviously using a tin is pretty simple. Put your keys in the tin, take the lid, put the lid on and make sure that it's sealed. Now in the same way that we just tested the Faraday pouch bag, I will show you testing the tin. So we still have passive entry switched on in the settings. There we go, passive entry is still set to on. So let's get out of the car and see what happens. One thing that you will notice is, as soon as you get out of the car, the car has locked. And that is because the keys are in a tin and the car cannot see the keys. So I'm going to walk away and we shall see what happens when I walk up to the car again. So here we go, the car is locked. Here is my key, it's safely stowed in its tin. And I'm walking up to the car and those door handles are not moving. So the car has not seen my keys. I can press the door handle, absolutely nothing is happening. So that means that my keys are safe in this tin. The signal can't be amplified to open the car. So in order to get into the car, I have to take the lid off my tin and retrieve my keys and now the door handles open without me pushing any buttons. 
hope you've enjoyed the roundup that I've done today on the passive entry setting in my Tesla. If, like me, you enjoy using the feature, I've shown you a couple of ways that you can keep your car safer by keeping your keys safe and preventing a relay attack. Obviously, the safest thing that you can do if you're in a high-risk area is to set passive entry off and to set pin to drive on and use a key that's memorable to yourself but difficult to guess. If you enjoy my videos, you might like to try subscribing to my channel and if you're looking to buy a Tesla, you might like to consider using my referral code.